welcome back. Outer Worlds, right where we left off. Here we are on the ship. Ah. Music's nice. Workbench to Want to be a brand new you? Try out our respecification machine. Alex installed it himself. Right before. until a replacement regulator has been properly installed. All right. These surveillance devices allow me to monitor you constantly. Please ignore them. <laughs> All right, well, let's go find ourselves If your right equipment is in need of repair or modification, the Crux 2000 workbench is at your disposal, Captain. Yes, please. I suppose everything on the unreliable belongs to you now, Captain. Help yourself. No, really. <laughs> uh, Alright, let's put that there. That's the door out. That's the girl. This has got to be the... Oh, the doors don't work right. Right, right, right. Alright. Let's go find ourselves a regulator. Hmm. Say, this wouldn't happen to be your ship, would it? Because you sure walked in it like it was your ship. And if this ship is yours, well, mister, you owe Spacer's Choice a hefty fine. I'm afraid we gotta dock your pay. I'm so sorry. I had no idea we had an inspector <laughs> coming. If you'd like to speak with my manager, I'd report to Constable Reyes in Edgewater. Edgewater's not too far. Just follow the road east of here, over past the cemetery. Now, if you'll excuse me, I need to inspect the crime scene before I make my report. <laughs> to the east, she said. It's that way. Probably that one. coming from yeah I want to try with shotgun here nice sound Admit the shotgun feels really good firing it. Oh, wow. 
Oh, neat. Is this a cemetery? No? That is. Whoa, hey. Where'd you come from? Don't go ambling out in those hills. That's marauder territory, friend. Your pod? What are you on about? You take a bruise through the cranium? <laughs> ain't safe out here. You'd best head into town. Avail yourself of Edgewater's high walls. And low, low prices. Pleased to make your acquaintanceship. I'd shake your hand, but I've been hauling corpses. You don't want none of that on you. No, I don't. Name's Silas. Junior in humor for the town of Edgewater. We're all part of the Spacer's Choice family. All right. Definitely not the junior in humor, that's for sure. If you've got business inquiries, you should stop by Reed Thompson's office. He's up in the tower above the cannery. Head into town, follow the road. Look, you obviously ain't a worker. What's your racket? You a smuggler? Freelancer? Edgewater is a company town, board owned and operated. That includes the cemetery. None of us own our grave sites. We rent them from the company. Renting means money. Money means paperwork. Paperwork means signatures. Some of our families become a mite delinquent in paying their dues, you see? Four workers still haven't paid up. Phyllis, Conrad, Ludwig, and Martin Abernathy. Hmm. He's a special case. You may want to twist his arm a little. He just is. Look, I don't want to get into it. Just make sure he pays up. Conrad's got a barbershop in town. Phyllis works at the cannery most hours. Abernathy... I ain't seen him in a few days. His domicile is near the cannery. You'll find him in town. All except Ludwig, that is. He's over by the landing pad. All right. Let's get into Edgewater here. Because it's on the edge of the water. <laughs> Very clever. Water. Oh, wow, this place is set by the cannery. Saltuna, huh? The grease monkey, Argo? I'm sorry, Mr. Thompson, sir. You asked why it's taking so long to fix. The answer's technical. Don't apologize. Just try using small words for me. The cans bust open in the oven because she's set to cook saltuna, which isn't what we've got. Mr. Thompson, I think there's someone here to see you. Focus, Miss Holcomb. You and I are still talking. Let's start over. <laughs> 
Walk me through the process. Show me where it's going awry. Well, sure. It's uh, mostly on account of what we're feeding into the mechanism. It puts food in cans. We have food, we have cans. Why won't it work like we need? She's expecting Seltuna of a certain size. We're filling the cans with... Well, not fish. Hmm. Seems we've got a guest. Really now, Parvati, I do wish you'd spoken up. I do apologize. She did I was given no forewarning of your arrival, or I might have welcomed you at the gates myself. I'm Reed Thompson, outpost administrator. Okay. I cannot help but notice you are not in uniform. Because I don't work here. Yes, so it dawns on me. Seems I allowed my excitement to run away with my wits. Been a few seasons since we've had a visitor pass through. Only regulator we got is hooked up to the town transformer. Mr. Thompson ain't liable to be keen on dismantling it. I beg your pardon. I am most emphatically not keen on any such thing. I can't let you have our power regulator. But I happen to know of another one. And I happen to know exactly how you may retrieve it without frying yourself in the process. Well, that's always good. Frying myself? Oh, yes. Saw someone put his hands on a regulator while the power was running. His legs were still twitching when we buried him. <laughs> There's a power regulator in the old botanical lab. It's mostly abandoned, so all that power is being squandered. Go down to the geothermal plant. Reroute power from the botanical district over to us. Once their power shut down, you can have their regulator and be along on your way. I was not entirely sure how to tell you this. The botanical labs are not legally inhabited, but there are people who live there. Uh -huh. No, I do not imagine they will be pleased. But like a parent disciplining an unruly child, you will be doing them a kindness. The people living in the botanical labs, they're deserters, former workers. I need them back at their posts. I need them to come home. Oh, you're a lovely human being. Good law, no, I don't want you killing anyone, least of all them. My hope is that by cutting off their power, you will convince those deserters to come back to town. Before you go to the plant, I want you to stop by the botanical lab. Speak to their leader, Adelaide. Tell her the power's about to go, and that it's time her band of deserters came back to town. Uh, that sounds better. Adelaide's older than the other deserters. She's dignified, kindly. From what I understand, her camp looks to her for leadership. That reason was me. I ask too much and push too hard. But I am ready to make amends if they are willing to return to the fold. We belong to one community, the Spacer's Choice family. If we dissolve into factions, then we will all perish separately. Adelaide will understand that. Okay. My dad told me all about the plant. Taught me all he knew. I could come in useful. I mean, if that's all right with you, Mr. Thompson. I hesitate to part ways with Miss Holcomb, but I cannot deny that she is talented and okay. may prove useful to you. Oh, that's very nice. You will need an administrative passcode in order to enter the plant. Okay. I am trusting you with mine and trusting Miss Holcomb to guide you if you'd like. Okay. Great. I got my wrenches and diagnosticators and hairpins and engine tape, so I'm all set. That's good. Well, I am glad to hear that. Best of luck to you. And thank you again for your help. It is a lot to ask of a stranger, I know. Oh, okay. Uh, companion. You just gained a companion. Their characters that join your adventure may help you in various ways. Oh, thank you. Uh, companions provide combat support. Their skills enhance their s your skills. They increase your carrying capacity. You can unlock special companion combat skills. With oh, okay.
We better clear out of Mr. Thompson's office before we talk. Okie dokie. I don't mind that. Hey, mister, can we talk? Sorry. Oh, sure. You got a sec? Sorry. I... You just want to get out of here. And you likely don't want to tag along like me. It's just... Mr. Thompson has his own view on matters, on account of it's his job and, and what all, but that's not the only side of the tale. Oh, he ain't a liar. He believes every word he says. It's just, he doesn't always get where other folk are talking from. To Mr. Thompson, a person's a gear. It does its job quiet-like. If it squeaks or stutters, it gets replaced. The deserters are decent folk. I knew some of them before they left. Miss McDevitt? Oh, gosh, no. She was a real important person. A flavorist. Made all the food taste decent. She used to work up in the big office with Mr. Thompson. All I know is she left after her son died. It was a real big to do. I could hear them both yelling clear from my own place. I don't know anybody well. I mostly listened to them talk, kept my head down. There was a boy named Thomas who used to follow me around, asking questions about the stuff I fixed. He was real sweet to me. Not any sort of dissident. Okay. Can't say as I know, I wasn't there. The sound carried, but not the words. If Mr. Thompson ain't of a mind to tell you his own self, you'd best ask Miss McDevitt, if you can get out to her. Mr. Thompson's aiming to take away their power. They'll have no lights to see, nor heat to cook. They'll be at the mercy of marauders, or worse. Okay. It just... They don't seem right to me, mister. I think you should talk to the town's vicar about it. Max, his name is. Thanks, mister. I just think when you gotta make a decision that'll hurt somebody, it's best to think on the right and wrong of it. Yeah, that's, that's true. That's what my dad used to say anyways. Alright. Coming back. Ah. Alright. Journalists. Oh, that's the codex right there. Basics. Oh, okay. Companion, this companion, you know about your companions, see their skill stats, but. Oh, that's how I manage her. She's got a hell of a hammer. up a face mask. Oh. Armor management. There we go. Consumables. Oh, I got all sorts of nice stuff. Modifications. General gear. Quest items. Junk. Okay, that's the vicar. Let's go talk to him. That's got to be the church. I've always felt weird in here. It's too clean. <laughs> Yes, what is it? You're an outsider. Fantastic. Vicar Maximilian de Soto at your service. Or Vicar Max, if you're the sort who prefers brevity. And Ms. Holcomb as well. How rare to see you out. And with a complete stranger. Curious. Just tagging along, Vicar de Soto. Don't mind me. I so rarely get new people to talk to. 
Name your poison, anything at all. Spiritual counseling, this season's tossball predictions, the quickest way out of town. Uh, what? I, I thought you would talk to him. You wanted to speak to me, Ms. Holcomb? Every time I've tried to engage you in conversation, you look at the floor, answer in single words, and slink away. I can't imagine what would be so grave as to drive her to my mission. What has Mr. Thompson asked you to do? Depriving them of safety from the marauders and wildlife. I can see why that troubles you. Miss Holcomb has a soft heart. Always has, if you believe the talk. Okay, so what do you advise? Well, what's... What they you... rejected the order of society and live beyond the walls so thoughtfully provided by our Spacer's Choice patrons. Does that strike you as a responsible life choice? Okay. Well, that one's locked, so... Assuming your goal is to save as many as possible, then you should bring everyone together. Send the power to Edgewater and convince the deserters to return to the full. Yeah. If you don't mind a bit of unsolicited advice, be cautious on your way to the geothermal plant. It is not as safe as you might assume. Okay. One of the reasons I transferred here was to fulfill my duty in hunting down banned heretical texts. I happen to know such a book is, as we speak, tainting a collector's library in Emerald Vale. However, the collector's residence lies outside the town's walls. My retrieval efforts have been thwarted by marauders who have overrun the property. Should you fare better than me, I'd pay a handsome sum for the book. All right. Yeah. It's a handwritten journal, a faded blue cover with the name M. Bakonu handwritten in the lower corner. I'll mark where I saw it on your map. Assuming you're serious? It is not only a beautiful relic of a bygone time, it's also the thoughts of an early thinker on the nature of man's place in the cosmos. Okay. Not many in this colony could understand its true value, should they ever read it. Well, thank you. If you retrieve it, you can always find me here. Let's, uh, while we're here. When I was little, we'd get freighters in every Sunday noon. Now they only come but once a month. I love the wind here. Vending machine discovered. Where? Oh, there. <laughs> added artificial ingredients. Okay, I gotta get a hack skill of 20 or higher. Ooh. Assault rifle. I don't have enough. I'm gonna have to... What's this? Same thing. Bullets and things. Oh! Different items. Okay. Ah! 
feud. That's good to remember. Oh, good. What's this? Oh. Oh, I'm outside town. Okay, I see where I'm at. Thank the law. I've been requisitioning backup for months. Guess the boss finally came to his senses. You ever swung a truncheon? Let me see your rifling stance. I want to make sure you're up to snuff. Uh... No, I'll let you be. I don't want to talk to you. I'm going to repair, upgrade, and modify weapons. All right, now... Inspect. Okay, go back. Oh! That's what... No, I don't have a mod. How do you... Oh, there we go. Repair. Okay, that's good. Not with him out there. Can we walk around the town? Yeah, we can. Um, I'm, uh, I've been doing this for 20 minutes now. 20, let's get to the bio, biological labs. It's pretty interesting. The uh, definite firefly feel to it. I'm really enjoying this. <clears throat> Probably should have named my uh, character Malcolm Reynolds. That'd have been fun. Oh. Got up. Incoming. Oh, I died. Please don't send me back to my last save. Please don't send me back to my last save. Terraforming is still... No, good. Well, let's go to the other end of town. I'm sorry, I'll just be a minute. I want to see in here, though, real quick, the tavern. You're not a big drinker, are you? Oh, darling, if you only you knew. Only the part. I don't know you. I don't know you either. Amelia Kim, Spacer's Choice Beverage Dispenser. I don't know what you're about, but this here is a Spacer's Choice drinking establishment. We're all loyal, hardworking company folk here. You really think so? <laughs> That's kind of you. I've been trying to keep the floors clean. You got no idea how long it takes to scrub the tiles. I'm sure it takes forever. Hmm. Guess I misreckoned you. Sorry about that. I didn't mean to be curt. We just got some problems lately. I can get you a drink if you'd like. 
Gotta ask you to enjoy your beverage within the premises, though. Can't risk you bringing a drink over to those deserters. You understand. I do. I do. Coming right up. Ah. And I can't afford any of it. <laughs> Well, I'm going to hold off going that direction until next time. So, for now, we'll see you later. Alright? Have a good one. <laughs>